Hello, Assalamu alaikum. In this video, we are going to discuss about the other term of business, which is the fifth chapter of our discussion, which is organizing. Organizing means to organize. So, how can we define it? It refers to organizing everything in orderly form and making most efficient use of resources. Organizing is a process. First, we can say identification and division of work and breaking the whole work into smaller jobs. Number second point is grouping the job and departmentalization. For example, the functional and divisional, functional and pro production, sales and finance. And you can see the example of soap and cosmetics. And number third point is assignment of duties according to skill and qualification. Number fourth point is establishing reporting relationship. Who will report to whom? So what will be the importance of organizing? We can say that the benefits in specialization, role clarity, clarity in working relationship, optimum utilization of resources, expansion and growth, development of personnel. Now what is organizing structure? The framework within which managerial and operational tasks are performed. Functional structure. Now what is functional structure? When the jobs are grouped, keeping in mind the fu functions, then it is known as functional structure. Purchase, sales, finance, so what is the advantages of functional structure the uh, the advantages is specialization easy supervision easy coordination increase managerial efficiency now what is the disadvantages of this thinking of sole benefit department empire of manager coordination this uh, decreases or uh, our size increases no department can be accountable and inflexibility now what is divisional structure uh, in the divisional structure jobs related to one department are put under the under one department for example soap price sales finances cosmetics ka alag se aa so what are its advantages or merits product specialization fast decision making accountability expansion and growth and what are the demerits each department requires all resources conflict and allocation of resources and focus on their product only formal organization when we have only business relation no personal merits systematic working achievement of goal no overlapping of work concentration of work chain of command demerit declay in action ignore social need of um, employees and emphasis on work only informal organizations um, merits fast com communication fulfill social needs correct feedback demerits spread rumors no systematic work may bring negative result more emphasis on individual interests